you often find universal stain removers aren't specialized enough to tackle these kinds of stains, which, depending on their composition, can prove very stubborn. So first, let's take a look at how stains are composed. We need to distinguish between stains that consist of starchy carbohydrate elements from those which are protein-based, oil or fat-laden, or contain dyes and pigments. The majority of stains contain a mixture of these components. For instance, lipstick, which is a combination of pigment and fat. Having said that, there are much more complex stains like rust, glue and chewing gum. The secret to successful stain removal is choosing the correct agent for each individual stain. The more unique and complex the composition of the stain, the more specialized the stain removing agent needs to be. Right here, for example, we have a t-shirt with a salad dressing stain. To remove this kind of stain, surfactants, among other elements, play a crucial role. Surfactants are active detergent substances that reduce the surface tension of the water, which increases the solubility of dirt or stain particles in the water. Even with pigment-based stains, such as lipstick or foundation, surfactants play an active role in stain removal. For dye-based stains like this coffee stain, bleaching agents need to be used. With the help of active oxygen, this patch can be bleached with care. When it comes to stubborn protein-based stains, such as blood, enzymes are required. Enzymes are made up of highly active proteins that speed up chemical processes. They work using a lock and key principle breaking down long-chain stain molecules into smaller-sized units, which can be removed from the fibers with minimal effort.